The Virgin and Child with Santa Anne is a famous painting by the artist Leonardo da Vinci. Is the Virgin Leonardo's mother? What is the meaning of the kite that can be seen? This and much more in this episode. The Painting It is likely that the painting was commissioned by King Louis XII of France following the birth of his daughter in 1499, but it was never delivered to him. The work depicts the three generations of Christ's family, Saint Anne, her daughter Mary and baby Jesus. Upon closer examination of their positioning, it is apparent that Mary is sitting on Saint Anne's lap. It is unclear what meaning this could have and what meaning Leonardo intended to project with that pose. Additionally, although the exact age of neither the mother virgin nor Saint Anne is known, it can be extrapolated from the painting that Santan is a significantly older person than Mary. This subtle yet perceptible distortion in age was utilized by Leonardo to emphasize the mother-daughter relationship within the two women. Despite the apparent lack of visual cues to the greater age of Santan, they would otherwise identify her as a mother. The child is holding a lamb. We also see that Mary is gazing into her child's eyes, while Santan is looking at Mary. The composition, full of allegorical meanings, is effectively modeled according to a pyramidal shape. As in many famous Renaissance altarpieces, with the top in the head of Santan, which therefore assumes a preeminent importance. Her role is to symbolize the church which, by hindering Mary's maternal apprehension, reaffirms the need for Jesus' voluntary sacrifice. Leonardo's Dream An important symbol is to be considered. In the shape that generates Mary's dress, it is possible to see a bird. This refers to a childhood memory that Leonardo writes in the Codex Atlanticus. Leonardo, while drafting an analysis on the flight of birds, inserts a note concerning a memory of his, when he was in the creep. Writing about kites seems to be my destiny, because I have a childhood memory in which I was in my crib and a kite came in through the window, approached me and opened my mouth with its tail and he struck his tail inside my lips several times. This memory is for Leonardo da Vinci, the logical explanation for his interest in the flight of birds. Freud's Interpretation Sigmund Freud undertook a psychoanalytic examination of Leonardo in his 1910 essay, Leonardo da Vinci, A Memory of His Childhood. The First Interpretation the most immediate connection that Freud hypothesizes is between the kite and the male member, which would lead the memory back to the image of oral sexual intercourse, or in any case to oral simulation, placing Leonardo da Vinci in a category of homosexuals whose sexuality had remained latent. Freud, referring to his psychoanalytic studies on homosexuality, finds a perfect correspondence between Leonardo and the cases he examined of homosexual patients who would have lived their childhood under a strong maternal influence or bond, with a father not very present or completely absent. This theory would be supported if one thinks of the early childhood of the artist, who was totally dependent on his mother, Caterina, alone. The second interpretation the action of the kite could instead be traced back to the satisfaction that the newborn feels during breastfeeding. So, Freud proposes the replacement of the kite with the mother. The mother who alone had fed and cared for her son was not only a woman, but she took the place of the father that Leonardo as a child was missing. In his first years of life, Leonardo began to discover his sexuality having no way of thinking that there could be a female alternative, hence the link between mother and kite phallus. The conclusion is that Leonardo felt like the son of a vulture, the son of a single mother without father. Not even the following years in which he grew up in Sir Piero's house could fill the void of the period he lived with Caterina. The third interpretation. Another possible interpretation is that the mother, when Leonardo was still in swaddling clothes, had poured upon him such an intense love as to mark his psychic journey. Caterina, according to Freud, had kissed her son with such intensity 
has to cause him an altered memory. The mother's kisses can be traced back to the oral simulation received by the child, and this also explains her passive form, as the newborn was unable to reciprocate or oppose this love. Freud explains that the passion that Leonardo's mother put into looking after him was clearly the way that the woman found to remedy the pain experienced by the abandonment by the man she loved. Leonardo smiles. By Leonardo's smile, we mean the enigmatic smile that Leonardo da Vinci used to represent in his paintings. The most famous is the one of the Mona Lisa. Freud traces Leonardo's smile with its duplicity to that of the artist's natural mother. The same smile is found in the painting of Saint Anne, the Virgin and Child, in which Freud finds elements attributable to Leonardo's childhood. Saint Anne is depicted as a woman who is no longer young, but who does not carry the signs of old age, while the Virgin is a young woman who extends her arms to the child. What do you think of Freud's interpretation? Write a comment down below. This painting demonstrates how strong a mother's love for her children can be, so much so as to change memories. Show the love you have for your children or give a unique emotion to your mother. Today you can have this painting with a 10% discount. This will support my project to continue making videos like this, always informative to delve into the lives of artists. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.